We understand the, the market in which we are operating. We understand the people which, uh, whom we are dealing with. We also know the methods that they use for doing business, ethical, not the unethical, ethical methods in which they do business. And we try to, uh, to ride on that to bring confidence. And most of them appreciate our understanding their problem. And because of that listening is where I think we are catching up and building up. Then many of these are upcoming. The criteria that some of these banks use are imposed of them from outside and they may not be easy to adjust. For us, we listen. Our boardroom is next door. Our directors are from here. And we can take these cases and the problems they bring and get quicker solutions and be able to solve them. We think that that is an advantage we have. And that's an advantage we are also uh, passing on to them. And we are trying to sell ourselves to them that we are indigenous. We understand who you are. And we shall give you the type of service we want. I think the first opportunity was uh, driven by the central bank deciding to lift the moratorium on uh, commercial banking license issuance. So a lot of players all of a sudden came into the market. It was an opportunity for us to actually go in. But secondly, of course, you can't just become a commercial bank if you don't have the capital base. But over the fact, the last 40 years, we had really built a strong capital base. And uh, that easily allowed us to be able to move into commercial banking. Um, the other consideration then was that uh, many of our clients, mortgage clients, were actually getting banking services from other banks. So it was much an opportunity for us to actually offer them everything uh, within the same, uh, under the same roof. Uh, they had been demanding for that for quite some time. Yeah, I think those were really the key strategic issues that we focused on. Of course, the other thing is that commercial banking gives you a uh, a bigger opportunity or avenue for growth than just sticking in one area. Okay, in the last two years, really, our deposits base, for example, has grown by about 100 billion shillings. Okay. Our lending in the commercial banking division has grown, it's approaching about 40 billion. Um, we're contributing about 1.5 billion shillings per year in terms of commissions and about 3 billion shillings per year in terms of uh, interest income. So basically, we've started adding value to the organization. Um, other thing is that we've introduced a couple of products, much as not entirely new products in the market, but uh, being that we are starting commercial banking from scratch, we have to develop all these products. Uh, basically, deposit products, current accounts, of course, were introduced. Um, you have uh, lending products as well. We have business loans now. We've also introduced warehouse receipting. Uh, basically, we're also working on uh, an agricultural funding uh, loan. So basically, those are the products we focused on. In terms of payments or payment solutions, of course, the usual RTGS, we didn't have them before. Now we have them. The EFTs, we have them. SWIFT, we have them. And we've also introduced MoneyGram uh, to enable our customers to be able to make payments across electronically mostly. So basically that's where we, we, we've been able to move in the last two years. Um, we still have a long way to go, but I think we've made quite some uh, significant progress towards where we want to go. Ideally what we focused on is to grow our branch network all over the country. Um, we're looking at about 40 branches, but uh, we also are looking at other channels. Um, apart from brick and mortar, which is usually expensive, and really, you know, it may be viable to reach every single part or every district in, uh, in the country. We're looking at other channels like uh, telephone banking, uh, internet banking as well. We hope to introduce it as soon as next year, at least. Um, and of course, you know, at the end of the day, we'll be looking at uh, transactability or Visa or MX or MasterCard or whatever. Uh, but that will be towards the end of a strategic period of 2013. Yeah, so that's basically that's the growth. Of course, uh, product development continues uh, to be a focus of ours. In terms of our assets, we're looking at growing our assets at about 20% uh, per annum, okay, for the next five years or so. And also growing our, as our deposit base, or loan base, sorry, uh, by about 30%, our lending per annum, yes. Up to the time we became a commercial bank to date, we have 11 branches. Our main branch then was Kampala Road. 
But now because we have changed to Kololo, so now we have our Kololo branch. We have Nakasero branch in Nakasero. We have Ontinda in the Ontinda shopping mall. We have Namwongo. It used to be our agency, our sub-branch, but now it's a full-fledged branch, which was uh, renovated. We have Mbara branch on the high street. We have Chikubo branch, Arua, Mbale, or Vino. And the, the most recent one is Garden City. By the end of this year, we'll have three more branches added onto our network. We'll be in Fort Porto, in Guru, and Lira. And we hope to open these three branches by mid-December. Okay, the future of housing finance, you know, the sky is the limit. If you see the humble beginning, we have everybody asks, you've been here for over 40 years. We've just started rolling out. Everything has its time. At that time, we were mortgage finance. Now we're a commercial bank. With commercial banking, we are Ugandan. We understand the market. We understand the Ugandan people. And we know how to serve the Ugandans the way they would want to be served. The market is very big. Very big. There are so many unbanked people. Or people who have money, but they don't know where a bank is. Or they have that fear of going into the bank. Housing finance, we are indigenous. We are going to go for those. Through our phone banking, we'll have to reach all those people. We'll have partnerships with circles, with very many other partners to make sure that we reach the unbanked Ugandan. With the merging of mortgage finance and commercial banking, Housing Finance Bank has grown quite large. So large, in fact, that there was a need to construct larger headquarters that would suit the bank's prestige and indicate its growth. Wampero was the desired location, and there was a need to create a unique, eco-friendly complex. As you can see, this is a state-of-the-art modern office complex. And uh, I'll dwell so much on the design of the building because it's one of its kind. Uh, right now, there isn't any been a building that has been done in that way. As you look at the building externally, you'll see some aluminium fins sticking out. They are not there by accident, they are not there as a design, but we wanted to do some, a building that was environmentally you know, appreciated by creating a, a means of reducing heat getting into the building. So those aluminium fins reduce the amount of heat that is getting into the building. Hence, you reduce on the, on the power bills and uh, you know, energy consumption at the end of the day. Also, you look at the glass, it, is, uh, it has solar properties. So, generally speaking, our building will uh, cut down on the costs of power and uh, energy consumed through ACs. And uh, design is, you know, when you look at the Twin Towers, two buildings that are interlocked, that are linked rather. So then internally, uh, if you've walked through the building, if you get the opportunity to walk through, you'll see that all our furniture is custom made. We uh, specifically did it according to the floor space that we had, uh, all the furniture for you know the different levels of officers was thought through before. So the furniture is unique to housing finance here. Yeah. We have a basement for two blocks. As you can see, there are two buildings. Uh, one is uh, purposely for the bank purpose, and the other is to be rented out. Yeah. So I will talk about the bank uh, tower. Um, the basement, we have parking for about 120 cars, and that is staff parking. Then we get to ground level, we have two banking halls. Uh, one is executive and the other is a, a corporate bank, banking hall. Then uh, we have, still on the ground floor, we have customer parking for about 60 cars. And as you can see outside, we've also created uh, another 30 you know, parking slots. Now, first floor houses the mortgage and the commercial banking uh, departments. So we have about, uh, we are, on average, we have about 50 people sitting per wing. Um, so those are two wings per floor. Second floor houses uh, 
support departments, finance, admin, legal, MD's office. So then we get to the rooftop, which we're living exclusive for, you know, functions, the cafeteria. Up there we even have uh, a sick bay in case, you know, staff is not feeling well, they can, you know, take a nap there. Um, then we have space that we're looking at in future to do a gym, you know, to serve the stuff that are around, you know. You need to work out once in a while. If you have a lunch break, you can, you know, if you don't want to go out and eat, that's the alternative, yeah. Uh, my fellow staff, I would like to tell them, keep the torch burning. Keep the spirit of housing finance as a family. We work together, we help each other, and our customers, we treat them as our own. We look after them in all ways. We shall listen, we shall assist them. Where we go wrong, we also ask our customers to assist. We are a bank for 40 years, which has never tolerated, and you can check that record as you as clients, we have never tolerated corruption and inefficiency. So come and get the services you want. And as staff, I also tell them, where your friend is wanting, don't fear, tell him. And as MD, my motto has always been, I operate an open door consultation. The door is always open. We are Ugandan, and we want to serve Ugandans. And uh, uh, I, 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 I can only pledge that we shall provide the best service. The staff, they must, they must continue working hard, serving the, our clients. That's the, way, the only route to success, and that's why, because they pay their wages and their remuneration. They must continue working hard. We must, the board must continue working hard, and that's the way of success. Well, for customers, we would welcome them and open the, goal, the, the goals for them and try to encourage them to make more investment and uh, more deposits in the bank uh, so that they continue being our uh, customers. As for staff, there is no way that we can stop emphasizing the fact of efficiency and good performance. For housing finance staff, I would encourage you to remain focused on customer because the customer is king at housing finance bank. And uh, if your customer is satisfied, we are also satisfied as a housing finance bank. Uh, we know we have gone a longer distance up to this moment, and uh, we still have the sky at the limit. Please keep it up. Really, we call on the staff to help us or to work with us to develop this institution into a player that can be a driver for development in this country, but also the customers. Now, this is our bank and we call upon them to also work with us and support us and give us feedback so that you know we can develop an institution as one of the local banks or locally owned and locally managed institution that can really help you know drive the economy going forward. Mm -hmm.